Do you want to know how to claim or verify your WordPress website on Pinterest? If you're struggling to get impressions, saves on your pins and more clicks back to your blog, then I suggest you claim your site on Pinterest. Today I'm going to show you two easy ways to claim your WordPress blog for Pinterest in just a couple of minutes with no overwhelm or tech headaches. It will be super quick and you'll see a massive effect on your Pinterest growth. Get your quick win today. Hi there, my name is Katie and I'm a Swiss blogger and Pinterest marketing teacher here on YouTube. I teach passionate online entrepreneurs like you how you can use Pinterest to grow your blog. So let's reach your Pinterest goals together today. So what does claim or verify your website on Pinterest means in the first place? And why should you make an effort to connect your site today to grow your Pinterest account faster and easier? Also, what are the step-by-step -step instructions to claim your WordPress blog in literally five minutes? So you've got that out of the way. And before we jump in, make sure you grab yourself access to my free blogger resource library. It contains over 30 plus blogging and Pinterest related downloads you can access immediately once you grab your password. Grab your free Pinterest guides, checklists, cheat sheets and so much more so that there's nothing in the way of your Pinterest success. So let's do this. Okay, first of all, what does claim or verify your website mean on Pinterest? Here on my profile, next to my profile image, you can see that it shows the URL of my blog here. And next to the URL, you can see this cute little icon, meaning that this website is claimed by me. I'm the owner of this blog and I have connected it to my Pinterest account. So basically, when you claim your website, you let Pinterest know you are the source of everything saved from that website. So Pinterest will know that all pins or videos you upload to Pinterest that have a URL coming from this blog belongs to you. You can claim more than one website on your Pinterest profile, but only one will show up here on your profile. You can also claim your Etsy or Shopify store as well as your YouTube channel, but I'll cover that in another video. Okay, but why should you claim your WordPress website or blog in the first place? Why does it matter? First of all, when you claim your website or blog, you get access to analytics for the pins you publish from your site and for the pins that other people create for your site as well. So this is how this looks like on my account. Next to each pin, I can see the stats for that pin, for example, here. I can also go into analytics and check out which pins are performing best so I can create more of that content. I can go into analytics here and do that. Second, when you claim your blog, you also let people know where they can find more of your content. I showed you this in the beginning, but your website will show up on your profile next to your image here. From here, people can directly click over to your site from your account. And boom, we are here on my blog. And finally, the best part is that if you verify your site on Pinterest, your profile picture will show up next to any pins that come from your site as well as a follow button for your Pinterest account here. This is massive if you want to grow more followers on Pinterest or attract new customers that checked out your amazing pins. And this follow button does not only show up on the pins you pinned yourself, but on all pins coming from your claimed website, even if someone else repinned it or saved it from your site. This is really massive. And just to show you more proof of how important claiming your website is, check out what Tailwind found out in a huge data study they made in the beginning of 2021. They looked at all pins saved or created on Pinterest in January 2021. That's thousands of pins. And they have found that 80% of high performing Pinterest accounts, so the accounts with the most saves on their pins, all had claimed their domains on Pinterest. Now, don't worry, claiming your WordPress blog is not complicated and it's going to be super quick. So if you're ready, I am. Let's claim and verify your WordPress website for Pinterest. Okay, now before we start, two things are important. First of all, to claim your website, you need to use a computer or a laptop. Right now, I think it does not work if you're on your phone. And second, your website domain, so your URL needs to have one of the following formats. So for example, example.com, just a normal .com site, or a subdomain, so something like ads.example.com, or a subpath domain like example.com slash something. If you run your blog on wordpress.org like me, then this should be perfect. And please don't confuse wordpress.org with wordpress.com like I did when I started blogging. You can learn more about the difference when you click the link here above. Let's jump into the tutorial of how to claim and verify your website on Pinterest. Okay, first of all, log into your existing Pinterest account. To claim your account, I recommend you use your Pinterest business account. A business account is free, but if you switch from a 
personal to a business account, you get more features like analytics and you can claim your site. You can turn your existing account into a business account or start a new account just for your website. Check out this video I made about how to create a business account for free if you haven't already and then come back here. Okay, so here in your Pinterest profile, I want you to go into the settings here on top, press into settings and then head into the claim tab here on your left. To claim your website, click the claim button here for website. This opens this new window and don't panic, it's not complicated like it looks like here. Just have different options how to claim your site. And I'm going to show you how to use the first one here using add HTML tag, which is the easiest way to do it. You have to add an HTML tag to your website's source code. So Pinterest can confirm that you own the website you want to claim. Otherwise, just anybody could claim your site. You have to show Pinterest that your website belongs to you and you do that by adding this code to your your website here. Then Pinterest looks at your site and if it finds the code, your site is claimed. So what you want to do is copy everything that's in this white box here. And if you click on it, you can see it says click to copy. Keep the site and window open. We need to come back later, but now we're heading over to our WordPress website. So in a new browser window, log into the backend of your WordPress blog. You can log into your site by typing in your URL and then add the slash WordPress admin text to come to the login site. So I'm just gonna log in here and boom, we're at the backend of this example blog. Now that you're logged into your site, we need to download and install a plugin called insert header and footer. So head over to plugins here on the left, then go here to add new. If you already have have the plugin, just skip this step. So here in the search bar, type in insert header and footer. And it's this first plugin here. Download the plugin and then activate it. So first we're gonna press install here and then you also have to activate it. Let's press it again and now head over to all plugins. So here on the left and let's search for the plugin and you can see it is here now. Now head over to the settings and you can see that we now have this new section insert header and footer that got installed by the plugin. You can see here on top, it says scripts in header. And if we quickly go back to the browser window that we had open for Pinterest, you can see that you want to paste this tag into the head section of your website, right? So you can see the head section here is the header and you can see that it says these scripts will be printed in the head section. So what we want to do is super simple. We're just gonna paste that code we copied from Pinterest into this section here, just like that. And we're literally almost done. What you wanna do now is scroll down and press save. That's it. Now let's head back to Pinterest. Now I want you to press continue here. And here I want you to type in the URL of your website. For us, this would be example LLC for the site that I used here. Then I want you to press verify. And that's it. Sometimes it will take 24 hours until it says your website is claimed. But you can also try to refresh your page here and it will say successfully claimed and list your site here under claimed websites. You can see that the verification here is in progress. Once your site has been claimed, you can remove the HTML tag from your website source code. So the head section where we copied that in, or you can leave it there. Your claim will only be removed if you make changes to your website in your Pinterest settings. So you only have to claim your website once and you're good to go. So we can press done here. Now, if we just quickly head into the settings of my main what's Katie up to account and we go to claim here you can see this is how your claimed website will look like if everything worked out so if Pinterest found the code on your website and again it can take up to 24 hours so don't worry just come back a day later and see if it says claimed here so you can see that I have claimed two websites here now if you get stuck please leave me a comment and I'll try to help and I'll link to the instructions on how to claim websites other than WordPress such as Wix, Weebly or Blogger in the description below. Awesome job. I hope you know now exactly how to claim your website on Pinterest. When you verify your blogger site, you have a better chance of getting discovered by your audience and your pins will reach more and more people, helping you grow your online business one pin at a time. I know you can do it. Simply follow the steps I showed you in this video and I'm sure you can claim your website in no time. You got this and I believe in you. Now, before you leave, make sure you grab your password to do the free live on my blog and get access to 30 plus free downloads teaching you all about blogging and Pinterest. Grab your free Pinterest PDF guides, cheat sheets, checklists,
checklist and more on my blog. I've put the link to the free library in the description below. And if you like this video, please hit that subscribe button and notification bell below so you don't miss any of my videos. I post a new video about Pinterest and blogging every Tuesday. Now that's it from me for today and I will see you soon. Cheese!